Hey, my dark darlings. These days, we have many ways to stay in touch with family, even when we can't visit them in person, like family movie watch parties or video conferencing a weekly dinner together. Being able to instantly check in with family is great, but sometimes I want to bond in other meaningful ways. Thanks to StoryWorth, I'm connecting with loved ones everywhere and learning family history I never knew about. What I love is that it's helping my family celebrate our past together. It helps to have that touchstone when you're going through tough times in the present. StoryWorth is an online service that helps your loved ones share stories through thought-provoking questions about their memories and thoughts. Every week, StoryWorth emails your family member different story prompts. Questions like, what have been some of your life's greatest surprises? My mom has been sharing her writing prompts with my dad and my aunts. Reading the weekly stories is fun. For instance, uh, my aunt shared one of her early dating disaster stories and exactly how my uncle won her over enough for them to get married. After one year, StoryWorth publishes the stories and will ship the book to us for free. Connect with family and discover untold stories with StoryWorth. Get started right away without the need for shipping by going to storyworth.com slash SS. You'll get $10 off your first purchase. That's storyworth.com slash SS for $10 off. Hey, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? Not alone. Connecting with others staves off focusing on the quiet corners of our own homes. Dance challenges, duets, videos, and more. The biggest fear could be doing your most and flopping. Unfortunately, becoming viral isn't all it's cracked up to be either. The onslaught of phone notifications woke Ari up around three in the morning. Wondering why their phone was buzzing, Ari blinked at the alerts from the app where they'd uploaded themselves doing the latest dance challenge. The clip was going viral, much to Ari's surprise. Why is my video getting so many shares? Ari wondered, opening the app to see what people were saying. The video played automatically, and Ari laughed looking at themselves. Woof. I am awkward, they thought. Are people making fun of me? The most liked comment read, 13 seconds had me dead. And other comments had skull reactions and ghost emojis after words like, creepy, when you see it. Weirded out, Ari replayed the video and stopped at 13 seconds. They were crouched down by the stairs, stuck in a pose just before jumping into the air. Staring hard at the surroundings around themselves, Ari's vision landed on something strange. On the stairs was a small face, peeking out from between the bars. Zooming in, they saw what looked like a ghostly boy watching them with a round face and bowl cut, just sitting there. When the video resumed, Ari jumped and the boy's face on the staircase was gone. Ari was home alone. Immediately, Ari put the phone on the bedside table and turned on the bedroom lights. Opening the door, they flipped the hall lights on too. The stairs creaked. It's only the house shifting, Ari said out loud. But just to be sure they were alone, Ari stepped over to the top of the stairs and looked down. Below them, outside the cone of light spilling from above, was darkness. Out of that dark, the boy appeared, crab crawling up the stairs towards Ari. With a scream, Ari ran back to their room. Ari got back in bed and hid under the blanket. They took a deep breath, questioning what they saw. There was a succession of knocks on the door. A gasp caught in Ari's throat and their phone buzzed twice. Reaching out to grab it, they saw a small hand swipe it with a giggle. Ari hid under the blanket as the shadows of the small boy ran around the room. The light switch was then flicked off. Engulfed in darkness and without a phone, Ari was terrified. What did this ghost kid want? Paralyzed with fear, a chill took over the room. A weight shifted onto the mattress. The light of Ari's phone glowed through the blanket, getting closer and closer. Throwing the blanket away, Ari jumped off the bed and ran to the light switch. When the room was illuminated, something fell against their feet. It was Ari's phone. Looking at the screen, Ari noticed it was on the app. 
recording on selfie mode. And that's when the little boy appeared behind them, hovering over their shoulder. It stretched its jaw in a hollow moan, making Ari shriek and run from the room, a haunting laughter behind them as they ran downstairs. When Ari looked at their phone, the option to upload popped on the screen. Replaying the recorded scare over and over, Ari looked to the stairs and the ghost sat looking on. It dawned on Ari that the ghost boy must have seen that it was noticed in the first video, noticed for the first time and no longer alone. Is it that you want them to see you? Ari hesitantly asked the ghost boy. The ghost boy nodded, clapping, eager to go again. It was ready to scare more people into watching them both. Ari hit upload. We can do another one tomorrow. Heart still racing, Ari wondered just what the spirit might do if it wasn't appeased. What if the next video didn't get as much attention or go viral like the first? Will the ghost boy turn on them? Yes, more, the spirit ordered as its jaw unhinged in a big ghastly smile. The next night, there was a knock on Ari's door. Ari knocked back and the door opened. It was time for the next video. Something Scary stickers are here. We've just launched the first of our collectible Something Scary stickers. You can see the Teespring shelf on our channel or check them out on Teespring. We will be releasing new stickers every month so you can collect all of your favorite monsters. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast. Available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, the show would not be possible without your support. If you want to keep these videos coming, please visit patreon.com snarled. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings, sweet dreams.